We are just now finishing the big theme for the first quarter on what states can do. Mm -hmm. And that will be published in a few weeks. And that was a monster. And it shows you all the different steps that state legislators can take. Yep. And I've been sharing the our notes and outlines broadly with a lot of state legislators. So, well, there are, is hope because I don't absolutely. know if you if you saw this thing that I blogged about recently, and that's this uh, governor's compact on energy. Right. A bunch of governors got together and said, "No, we're not going to follow all of these energy recommendations." Well, I, you know, we we have been predicting this this move in your quarterly reports for some time that. The state governors are going to start making compacts among themselves and simply bypass the Fed. And I think I think this compact is the first indicator that this process is already underway. Now, if they can get their their act together and start doing the same thing vis-a-vis -vis escrow accounts and taxes and so on, there's there's a chance we can turn this around. You've said it before many times, Catherine, and I really, really am holding my breath to see when it's going to take off and and catch on in the states, and that's create these escrow accounts, right? And and start withholding taxes and starve that beast in the swamp. So here's the thing: they can't take the next step to digital financial control without the digital ID, right? You know that's the big next step, and you can see right. they're pushing hard. Yeah. Um. And and I do not yet see, I see people understanding why they should use cash yep. and understanding why they don't want them to have the control. But I don't, you know, I, I'm watching so many different ways. There are like 57 varieties of, of, of promoting, uh, you know, dig, you know, the digital ID, whether it's the real ID or the global. And we saw the who just get slaughtered in terms of trying to, Push through their central control model, mm -hmm. but now we're watching it come back with the UN. Yes. So, so where the WHO failed, now they're coming back again with the UN. Yeah. And yeah. And the the question is, we've had what what was it? Twenty six governors come out and say no. We've had real push in the in the Congress to say no to the UN. Uh, you know, we see states passing laws. Yep. And you'll see this in the state piece saying the U.N., the W.E.F., uh, and who will not have jurisdiction here. Right. So yeah. both in Congress and in the states, this is coming to a head. And the reason it's so important we do that in the next one to three years, if, if, if the bankers get total financial control, you know, they can wipe out the legislatures entirely. And the, the, and the executive branch, if they want, they can replace it with the money. Yeah, well, this this is all again more reason why the states have to start coordinating their efforts, right? And and putting some teeth into any legislation that they that they pass in this respect. I'm I'm with you. If if they succeed in getting digital IDs passed, what the states are going to have to do, I think, to to just address this issue front and center and directly is you're going to have to have state legislatures pass resolutions recognizing that a digital or real ID is a violation of constitutional rights and spell out, spell out how. In other words, we're, we're asking the state legislatures to do the same thing with these resolutions that they've already done with their constitutional money resolutions and so on and so forth. Just state right. it very clearly that that this is not possible because of such and such. Uh, and if you can get state legislatures to do that, the other thing I would I would think that would come out of that is then you need to take the next step and make these regional compacts that you are not going to do business with, nor recognize, nor put any of your state pension funds investments into any of these organizations or any anything having a tie to these organizations. And that's why I say the Constitution, the financial management laws are very powerful weapons. And that's once we get this piece out on the state, what states can do, the next piece will be taxation and, and how to use the financial management laws to take action. Because ultimately, that's the big action the state is going to have to do is the yep. AG 
taking action on the fact that they're pulling money out of the pension funds and they're pulling money out of taxes and spending it in criminal ways yeah. and in complete violation of the financial management laws. You can't, you yep. can't let that stand. Right. 